Today we will talk about what components do you need in order to build the jammer that I previously uploaded. So here you can see inside the box. We have a voltmeter, a button and a 12 volts fan and three antennas. Inside you can see all the components. So we have a power bank, a battery holder and a battery holder powers up 12 volts to the amplifier because 2.4 gigahertz needs an amplifier and the voltmeter will show how much life the batteries will still have and the power bank will power up the buffer and also through the switch will power up the step up tool which will power up the fan at 9 or 10 volts also from the power bank and here you can see the buffer I had to change the chip for 2.4 because the one that came uh, with buffer was crap. So let's see the components. We have two switches, three extenders for the antennas, one 12 volts fan in order to keep things cool. One step up tool in order to input 5 volts and output 12 volts for the fan. A signal amplifier because the buffer doesn't have an amplifier built in, so this amplifies the signal for 2.4 gigahertz. And it's powered up for, from 318. 650 batteries This is the holder for 3 18650 batteries which power up the amplifier This is the voltmeter which will show us how much life there is in the batteries The power bank itself that holds 10, 18, 650 batteries and powers up the buffer and also the fan and this is the buffer itself it can jam 2.4, 5.2 and 5.8 channels which is Wi-Fi, drone, Bluetooth, microwave and so on but it's only for personal home use so don't play around with other people's wi-fi network so it came with crap buffer for 2.5 2.4 sorry so i had to replace it with this one i think it was like two dollars or that replace i didn't replace the other ones for you for 5.2 and 5.8 because I didn't have an amplifier for them and they're pretty expensive. So that's all the list with all the components that you need. Hope you enjoyed.